Hi, this is Vicki Vidalia. I'm with Dr. Brad Campbell with uh, the Health Assurance Movement, HAM. Ham. Today we are going to be making a fan re most requested recipe that I've posted on Instagram is people want to know how to make this meal. And today we're making it for a special occasion, if you want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So this weekend we have our staff in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. We're here for a little staff getaway just to have a little fun, cook a little food recipe shows for everybody to get a little healthier, and just to kind of hang out, relax, get away from the you know, COVID medical scene that's been stressing everybody out this year, yeah. and just have a good time. Yeah. And woo! You want to say hi to our fans? They're over here. Hi, fans. Hi, fans. <laughs> Good to have you. Um, so today we're making short ribs with uh, arugula, a little crunchy onion on the top, and it's in a beautiful gravy that we're actually going to make in the skillet. It's going to cook all day in the crock pot. So what's so nice about this recipe is you can start it in the morning, you can get ready for your dinner party, your weekend getaway, go sledding, do whatever we're going to do today. Yeah. When we come home, it's going to be ready. Perfect. I know. So like it's going to be really exciting. Sounds easy. It is really easy. So um, let's start. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, coat the short ribs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use flour. We're going to use arrowroot today. Ooh, and arrowroot, arrow well, because if you're gluten-free, oh, um, nice. you don't have to worry about it. So this is, this is arrowroot, which I, I think you know about, right? Have yeah. you cooked with it? I have not cooked it's with it. It's a beautiful cooking agent. And if, you're, if you do cook with arrowroot, you want to cook, if you're thickening gravy or whatever, do it at the very end because it thickens really fast. So I've already pre-measured it. Perfect. So we're going to put this in a Ziploc bag. Just dump it in. Yeah. So isn't that gluten-free thing just a fad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we're going to put in about a <laughs> teaspoon of salt. <laughs> I think it's totally overrated. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I so your gut's inflamed. Whatever. I don't, I don't think we want to medically gaslight the country. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put about a teaspoon of pepper in. And then we're going to throw the short ribs yeah. in the bag and shake it up. Just toss them in? Yeah. All of them? Shake it up. Shake it up. How right. about that? Right, and you. maybe start shaking there. Stop. Okay. Shake. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. And then you can add the rest of them. And Actually this is really important good. because then when we, mm. with the crock pot, we're gonna we're gonna um, sauté these, and they're gonna get nice and crisp, and then we're gonna put them in. It's gonna be delicious. Looks kind of like powdered sugar donuts. I know, right? <laughs> Except without the donut and the sugar. Like meat. Yeah. yeah. We need the meat <laughs> juice. Yeah. yeah. You want this in there? Ah, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start the skillet. So what's nice about this recipe is if you don't have, um, if you're at a weekend getaway and you just have a skillet, um, you can cook this meal. And if you have a, not a great stove, or it doesn't matter, plus it was easier for us to film, so we're gonna use the skillet instead of the stove. This is probably one of my favorite uh, dinner party recipes because it looks like a showstopper. When we serve it um, to you all today, you're gonna die because it's gonna be like, dang, that looks so pretty, but you've seen how easy it is. So you'll, I think you'll really love it. Secretly fancy. Yeah, secret dinner parties during COVID, right? Yeah. Right? But we're not actually having this many people together. No, actually, no. we're under the number, right? I don't think so. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. Sorry when they change it every week. I know, right? <laughs> Last right. weekend we couldn't come because right. it was five people. First do this, then do this. <laughs> Science proves this. Wear a oh, mask. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. CDC says this. World Health Organization says this. Look out. I probably should have heated the pan up a little bit before, but yeah. Yeah, can we get it? And a, a quarter of a cup seems like a lot, but it's really nice to sear that short rib. 
and get that brown edge so that when you cook it in the crock pot, it, it retains that moisture. It's really awesome. So butter helps, like, so it doesn't dry out. Butter's like bacon. Mm. It helps everything. It's nice. There's almost no lactose. Or it's super good, even for most people with dairy sensitivities, right? And if it's a grass-fed cow, mm -hmm. then you have grass-fed butter. Perfect, which is much healthier. Absolutely. I just learned Kerrygold with, for a while was not grass-fed, though. I know, so that vital, was really unfortunate. The Farms is like an actually grass-fed in the Kerrygold. They were like feeding it partial grass, but right, not like right. grass. It's or kind of like the chickens, like when they let them outside for a bit where they feed them something, but they're still kept in cages most right. of the time. Right. Or what's really fascinating about chickens is that they'll open the farm door, they mm -hmm. won't leave. Really? No. They just mm -hmm. want to stay right there. So they have access to a pasture, they never mm -hmm. go outside. It's kind of like when you give people a free gym and they just don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, here you go. Here's your way to health and freedom. No, I'm going to sit here eat my popcorn. No, I'm going to sit on the sofa and eat popcorn. <laughs> garlic on your forehead. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's to keep the vampires away. <laughs> okay, we're almost ready. So if you want to grab the short ribs and then we're going to go ahead and saute them. this has been rusting on the counter. Oh, that's another thing. It's good to rest all your meat at least an hour before you cook it. Even chicken, even pork. Okay? Okay. And what is meat resting? It's just letting it come to room temperature. So, good question from the audience. <laughs> Why? It's just something we've, in cooking, we've always done. I think there's something about the way the fats break down and flavor and the enhancement of it. Especially if you're salting the meat, you want the salt, which is almost every meat should be salted. At least an hour. Chicken, a day before. Put your salt, it absorbs it, you will, it will not taste salty. It's crazy cool. I can imagine if it was like frozen that the water like crystallized and the meat would also affect it. Like yeah, it absolutely. Dance break, do 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 do. We should do that. Okay, so while we were cooking this, uh, we did a little Googling and Christy's gonna read to us why you rest meat. So all the sausages need a little resting um, to allow the muscle peppers to absorb the juices that they raise during cooking, so that's afterwards. Even the meat to come to room temperature before cooking allows the meat to cook evenly. Nice, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and flip these. They're perfectly brown. Can I show the audience? Look at this. Look at that. I know. I know. So we probably only need to do this maybe a couple, couple more minutes, minutes and then we're going to put it in the crock pot. That is absolutely perfect. Nice. Good timing. Good timing. I've heard a lot of cooking is good timing. It is. I mean, this is going in the crock pot, so it's easier, but right. you got to get the timing of like how long to put it in there for. Absolutely. And if you have multiple ingredients, it's like getting and them all ready and warm at the same time. You remember the trick of chicken? Which one? When you're sauteing chicken, the, reason, the way you know that it's done is that it'll lift easily off the pan. So when you're searing chicken, it shouldn't stick. The minute it stops sticking, flip it. Oh. So it's super easy. Super helpful. Yeah, right? And we're not going to do the other side as long because we don't want to overcook it because it's going to cook all day in the crock pot. So. So it's ready like that. It's ready. Put so it right in. Wait for the other side. Nope. Great. It's perfect. The studio audience says, Ooh. <laughs> 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 Smells delicious. Whoa! Ah. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It's so beautiful. Yes. And while we're sledding, this is going to be cooking. Oh my God! He's going to spray. Yeah. Now I'm throwing it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Okay, we can turn that down a little bit. And then we're going to add first onion, because garlic cooks a lot faster than onion. So we're just going to put the onion in and let it cook with those juices. Like it is absolutely critical not to throw those juices out. And the butter. And the butter. And chili powder is one of the spices in this recipe. It's 
much better to actually put it in with the onions and let the onion completely absorb the tip flavor. Of the chili powder? Yeah. Nice. Jesus. Say what? Game changer. Yeah. I always do it at the end. I know. You know it's the last minute, like, mm, maybe. Yeah, that. oh yeah, let's throw some chili. Which is fine, but. Right. There you go. Thank you. Do we want to let them brown? Yeah, just, yep. Okay. It's maybe about four minutes. minutes, and then we'll throw the garlic in, or we'll place the garlic in. Okay. <laughs> um, so as we've talked about in our last video, um, onion is a great anti-inflammatory. Yes. Right? Yes. And garlic. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about garlic. Garlic is amazing, first and foremost, for your heart. So it helps lower blood pressure, helps your get healthy cholesterol levels, helps just like with cardiovascular plaque. Fermented garlic is great for that. And it's just really good, especially if you eat some raw or slightly cooked garlic, really good for colds and flu prevention. If you start feeling something coming on, you could like eat a couple cloves and that'll often kick it pretty quick. So do you recommend that for a Valentine's date? Always. <laughs> yeah, especially the new one. Right? The yeah. new girlfriend or yeah. boyfriend or partner, whatever that is. Always. Go ahead and order the garlic, right? Because it's for your heart, right? Every time. Yeah. <laughs> you want it for love. But maybe not your breath. Maybe not your breath. Yeah. So this is the biggest prep part of this dinner. And then it literally, like we said, cooks all day. And then when we serve it tonight, this, the sauce is just out of this world. Okay, so we can go ahead and put the garlic in. In about maybe one or two minutes, and then we're gonna add the sauce. We're gonna put it in here. Put it over here to cook all day and we're good. That's it? That's it. Wow. Till tonight. And then tonight, oh, you're going to love tonight. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. Okay, so let's, let's add the sauce. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do, um, let's see, one cup of beef broth. I always use bone broth because it's so good for you, and why not, right? Yeah. Super good for your gut, for leaky oh. gut. Super good for your immune system, especially in the wintertime. Especially good. So put about a cup in there. Just wow. guess it. Uh -oh. Okay. And then we're going to add in um, some red wine vinegar. Just throw all that in there. Or pour it in there. Um, we've got three. All of it? Yeah. Three quarter cups of packed brown sugar. Now, when they say packed brown sugar, they're not kidding. You literally so press yeah, on it, pack it down. Wow, that's hard. Pack how it. How do you get it out? So you that's how you pack brown sugar. Got it. And then just like smack it, it should come out. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. I just was like, wait for it. <laughs> and then uh, chili sauce. Where is it? This one? Quarter of a cup. And then two tablespoons of ketchup. And I use okay, Aldi organic ketchup. Two dollars. Two dollars. Mm -hmm, I know. Two tablespoons. And then. Excuse me. So this is actually the first time I've made this sauce. My husband always makes this part of the dinner, and then I do the whole sous chef. So this morning I was like, what do I do? Do I do this? He's like, do the chili powder on the <laughs> onions. He's like walking me off the ledge. He's like, you can do this. I'm like, I've never done it before. Uh, two tablespoons of Worcestershire. <laughs> Dog alert. Dog alert. Uh, nice. Two tablespoons. We got the garlic, a chili powder. We're going to stir this up, let it come to a gentle boil. That's it. That's it? It's perfect. This sauce, like I said, is so good. It smells so good. Wait till you taste it. Wait till you taste it. Oh, the vinegar. Really I know. Yeah. It's so good. Vinegar is super good for your liver, too. Anything sour. Also good. Yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't do apple cider vinegar because you really want the, the wine, that red with the the short rib, you really want to keep that flavor in there. And chili sauce you can find at the grocery store anywhere. Chili powder, everybody probably has that in their pantry. This is a pretty easy recipe. Worcestershire sauce is, you know, easy. Okay. 
So, should we just sit here for 10 hours and wait till it's ready? <laughs> All right, so let's go play, let's go sledding. Should we go sledding? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So we're going to go down low for about eight to 10 hours. No, only does it That's perfect. They're pretty thin. I think it'll be, they'll be ready in 10 hours. How many feet are too high? Just this case, doesn't it? Yep. Good to go. Thanks. Nice. Okay. All right. Two thousand years later. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Day well, two. We had a great time, great time, and now we're ready to have some dinner. Absolutely, and it's been cooking all day, so we just had to come back and do these little final touches. Yeah. Um, the first thing we're going to do is I have arugula which um, honestly is like a game changer on top of the short rib, mm. trust me. And what we did is we put a little bit of olive oil and mixed it with fresh lemon. And we're just gonna, if you grab this, we're just gonna toss the arugula. Just toss that right in there. Toss it That's out. like a natural, healthy dressing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. And the bitterness of the arugula with the short rib and it's A little incredible. sour with the bitter is perfect. Yep. Can't wait. Perfect. So this is so easy. It's a, it's a dinner party showstopper. It really is. Yeah. Good. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so we're gonna move over here. And then since we're doing a dinner party, we were sledding. We cheated and bought. Bobbins. We made bobbins, <laughs> mashed potatoes at the Piggly Piggly, right? It's really all they had. So. Um, okay, so we're going to actually play. And this is how simple it gets. So this morning, remember, we prepped all this. So what we're going to do... At this point, your guests are all seated, and so okay. you present this yeah. beautiful meal to them. Yep, perfect. And then take some. These should these should be like pretty easy to cut. Oh yeah, so, uh, nice so just take a nice chunk of short rib. No pressure. <laughs> like that. <laughs> perfect. And we might want to put a little bit more, like have two little ones on top. So put that right on top. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. And then one more. One more little piece? Yeah. Nice. That's so pretty. Okay. Now, just take your hands. Take a little bit of arugula. Put it on top. And then we cheated again and bought jerky onions. There's no problem. Put these on top? Yep. And we might want to, if you had, oops, sorry, if you had more time, you want to thicken this up a little bit. Right around. This is your extra cream. And then if you mess up, you just get a little tall. Too beautiful to eat. <laughs> I won't have a problem with that. <laughs> right? 